Hello everybody and welcome back to StarCraft 2 where, as usual, the Teldarim are being jerks. Let's hear what Valerian has to say about it. Our enemies outnumber us on both sides. We need more forces to hold this city against the Teldarim. Several defenders of man squadrons have contacted us, Emperor. It seems the lower ranks weren't aware of Davis's real agenda. Your speech opened their eyes and they will fight the Teldarim with us. That's a start. We can rely on their outposts to hold the front line for a time, while we focus on getting our reinforcements ready. I'll join them. I can keep the Taldarim scattered on the edges of the city, away from our bases. We should also deploy liberators and siege tanks to strengthen our positions, and perhaps an SCV or two for repairs. You always think of everything, Rigel. We're going to need all of it to get through this. Yeah, this sounds like this is going to be exciting. So, complete it, destroy 300 enemy units with Gorgons, and destroy 15 units with the Battlecruiser's Yamato Cannon. So we get Gorgons and Yamato and Battlecruisers? Okay. We, we have new tech available. We Battlecruisers on our next mission, Nova. I've developed upgrades for them, if you're interested. I'm indeed interested. That's currently on the Marauder. Um... This is not currently equipped. Ah, battlecruisers can attack multiple enemies. I see. Perhaps we want to spam battlecruisers? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We still have other new tech available, huh? Optimize logistics. Recruit marines faster. feel like that's good. And then we could potentially get special ordnance on Reapers. Or potentially on Marauders. I like the internalized tech module on Marauders, though. Mm. Do we have anything that we could put into Ravens? No. Actually, yeah. We do. Okay. Magrail munitions. Sure. That'll work. Okay, let's uh, see what UNN has to say about this. Dominion officials have declared that Bardona is in a state of emergency after Protoss forces began attacking the planet. Emperor Valerian and several high-ranking officials are caught in the crossfire. The Emperor was revealing evidence against the Defenders of Man and their alleged leader, General Davis, when the Protoss struck. Well, that wasn't anything new. Okay, um... Do we want a phase reactor suit? No, I think the tactical stealth suit is probably the best way to go. And I think we stick with the plasma rifle, honestly. We're not going to be stealthing much, and the ability to do AoE damage would probably be pretty great. I mean, we're fighting against Protoss, not Zerg. So there's that. But I think we're pretty much ready to go here. I mean, additional resources. So there's an expansion near... There's two expansions near where we start. Subway systems to get to them, potentially. Because it kind of looks like there's not a direct path here. And then the Taldarim are going to be up over this way. Okay, well let's see what we've got here. How long do we need to hold out? Liberators, battle cruisers, siege tanks, these are all going to be good. So we're going to want probably multiple factories, multiple starports. At least two barracks. Okay. We can expand here and here quite quickly. Enemy forces are moving down the central streets in these locations. Additionally, I've summoned the Dominion fleet to help us, but it'll be some time before they arrive. Once they're here, our battle cruisers will have no problem blasting through the Taldarim. Until then. You've been cleared to build your own. Okay. We already have the plans. First, we must construct a fusion core. Then the ships themselves will require a vast number of resources. Never thought beating Alarak would come cheap. Great job. Okay, we're going to need a lot of gas. So I'm grabbing gas early on. 
Uh, we do not currently have any upgrades on the way in, so let's go ahead and put down an armory for sure. I'm going to drop a liberator field up over here, and a second liberator field over here. We'd already put some tanks defending this, so that seems fine. I'm going to send an SCV down here right now. We are going to be needing a couple of supply depots. I'm only going to drop one for now. I was really hoping we'd have enough for the command center by the time I got here, but that didn't happen. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bring... I'm going to cancel those two for now so that we can get this command center a little bit faster. The Taldarim are fighting up over there. So that's good. We're going to hold here, here, and here, though. That's the plan. So as soon as we get enough here... There we go. So what do we need in our starport for battle cruisers? We need an att attached tech lab and a fusion core. We do have another liberator here. I'm going to go ahead and drop a liberator field here. And we do need more tanks, but as of right now, we are working mostly on our economy. I want an engineering bay, ASAP, which is 125 minerals. Add on complete. There we go. And then as soon as you're done, come on back over here. Okay. Taldarim immortals are advancing on our position. They'll carve through our forces unless we stop them. Yeah, I'm sure they will. En route. Let's uh, hop into the subway here. We're going to go ahead and start getting vehicle and ship upgrades. And I'm going to pop Nova out here. Nova here. And I'm also going to bring out the siege tank, and we're going to drop this siege tank right back here to help defend against the immortals. Say again. Excellent. This command center is almost done, and it is now done. So let's go ahead and get some SCVs coming out here. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to cancel a couple of these because I want to get another expansion. I want to be very strong economically here. And let's build another factory as soon as we can. Nova, go ahead and do that. Oh, that is gorgeous. So much damage. I love it. We're going to distract them a little bit. And there we go. Acknowledged. Defenders of Man didn't take much damage at all there. I like it. Speak up. Engaging the enemy. Okay, we do have more guys coming in. But the Defenders of Man should be fine against that, honestly. So we are going to need to get ourselves a... Not a factory, actually. I want a fusion core. Yes, sir. And then we're going to get more SCVs. We are going to get all of the SCVs. Okay, uh, four is... We need six here, technically. So we're going to get two more. There we go. We're going to need more supply depots. Not enough minerals. Okay. There we go. That should help with the supplies. Now, I still do want to be producing siege tanks. But once this guy is done here... I would actually like to get a second starport. I've ordered the defenders of man to build up their fortifications in the side streets. Good plan. The Taldarim will probably strike these areas soon. Your support would be welcome, Nova. Not enough. Yeah, we'll see if we have any support for them. I mean, will you? <laughs> you might be in some of the locations. Loud and clear. Certainly not all of them. My scans show Taldarim void rays gathering for an attack from the left. Okay. I'll cut them off. We'll be there. Thanks, Rigel. We are definitely going to help against those void rays. I mean, we do have a tank around somewhere helping. But our primary defenses are back here. That's where we're most concerned. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take double gas here. Status report. Okay, let's uh go ahead and do that number. Excellent. That does so much. It's so good. I love it. Okay, we have a second tank ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and place this tank right up over here. Excellent. We're going to go ahead and take all the gas because we're going to need it. And then we're going to take additional gas over here. There we go. Excellent. We have our fusion core done. We do need to grab ourselves a tech lab here. And then we are just going to start spamming out battle cruisers. And we do need to get ourselves a couple more supply depots. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a few of them. And then this SCV can come up over here for now. The Taldarun's attacks are intensifying. Our outer defenses won't last unless we permanently station reinforcements there. Should the perimeter fall, the Protoss attack forces can converge, and we'll have a hell of a fight on our hands. They'll also destroy the Dominion Research Center in this vicinity. I heard they were on the verge of a breakthrough. Oh, okay. I'll do my best to keep it safe. We'll drop tanks here, then. So we'll drop tanks, like, back here. There we go. Okay, and we are producing battle cruisers at this time. Be careful, Nova. Four enemy void rays are flying in from the right side. Okay. Nova will come over here. Why are you helping these vermin? There are innocent people here. You already know that. You just don't care. Okay. How goes our economy? Our economy is developing. Relatively quickly, actually. Which is good. We're going to need it. I'm going to go ahead and actually put down a third starport. Nova, the first squadrons in the Dominion fleet have arrived, and will begin supporting our defenses. Excellent. Our Gorgon-class battlecruisers are particularly effective against heavy resistance. Give the call, and I'll command them to clear an area. Okay, we will help out over here. Oh, wait. In the central lane, left lane, and right lane? Oh, I see. Okay, I get how that works. And then the Gorgons already cleared this, I assume? Well, we need that on cooldown, for sure. So, where is our other battle cruiser at. There he is. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and get a tech lab. And we'll get a third battle cruiser going, ASAP. And honestly, I'm not going to waste money on that since we're just spamming battle cruisers. We do need more SCVs over here. Okay, you can come up here and actually drop like a million supply depots. Is that enough to get us to our cap? I'm not sure. A group of immortals is approaching the central entrance to our base. Call down a Gorgon if you can, Nova. Yeah, I can do that. One more supply depot? Yeah, that's maxed. Okay. Fantastic. Well, we're getting very close on our on our economy. And we can just spam out battle cruisers if we had more gas. We don't have more gas, but we're spamming these battle cruisers pretty well. These immortals didn't die to the Gorgon? Oh, the Gorgon's still on its way. I gotcha. Yeah, now it's doing some damage. Excellent. In the meantime, we're getting up our battle cruiser count, and we're also upgrading our battle cruisers. Upgrade complete. Excellent. 
Continue upgrading. There are some battle cruisers over here. That's fine. And we need one more SCV. Excellent. SCV ready. Insufficient Vespine gas. And real realistically, we should only have like two of these building from each at a time. So we've got one minute on this lane. This lane is unused, and then this lane is currently being cleared, but they the uptime on this is actually quite high. It's like 50% uptime. You see that? Like, this guy's just despawning now, and it's over 50% that they've been clearing this lane. I mean, they can come in from these two, which we should consider reinforcing. I'm going to get up some siege tanks. Actually, we have our siege tanks that we need. They're right here. So I'm going to de-siege these. I'm going to send two down over here. And then I'm going to send two up over to here. And then they can hold these little pushes, theoretically. Excellent. More battle cruisers. What could possibly go wrong? Our research is coming along nicely. The Taldarim Death Fleet is like half dead. Take caution. Wrath walkers are coming in from the left side. Okay. What's our target? Confirm that Nova is going to come on over here. And then we're going to drop these siege tanks just behind their bunkers. Excellent. And realistically, Nova probably should be using the subway system to get there. But I think this is fine. Let's get more battle cruisers. We're going to be hitting our cap here pretty soon. Which is fine. Is it just stalkers? Okay, there we go. That's more like it. That's more like what I expected to see. Okay. Nova, get working on that stuff. How much energy for that? 75? Okay. We're gonna go ahead and do that. And we shouldn't have any problem finishing this off. Yeah, that's quite easy. Okay. Excellent. And we have plenty of time on the Gorgons. Okay, we've reached our maximum supply. So I'm going to go ahead and have these battle cruisers and Nova group together. And I mean, the battle cruisers can't, uh, can't use the subway, I think. <laughs> that would be weird if they could. <laughs> Okay, we're coming this way. Seems fine. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, I think we're actually going to finish this one in two episodes. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.